The first thing I would like to explain are the presets and character slots. We have a total of 316 character slots, including main and studio slots. The cool thing about Gotcha Life 2 is you can edit a character even if it's not in the main slots. You can select any character you want and edit it without even having to swap them. If you want to swap a character, just click swap and select two characters. Now you may have noticed there's no option to copy your OC here, like there is in Gotcha Club. Well, all you have to do is go to presets, additional backup slots, and now you can access your backup slots and copy your characters. Not only will you be asked before you copy an OC, but you can also undo the action if you make a mistake. Do keep in mind though, if you exit the preset section, you can't go back and click undo anymore. So try not to make a mistake. You can copy the entire character or just parts of it. You can even copy accessories, which you couldn't do in Gotcha Club. That's pretty handy. You can even copy poses. And of course, you can choose whether to copy colors or not, or only copy the colors. This next section is pretty straightforward. You can change a character, change the head, ears, shadow, height, and more. Now you may have noticed that you cannot adjust the head here, but no worries! The very next section allows you to do just that. Just click the head under adjustment and you can change the size of the head. Changing the pose won't affect the head size either. In the next section, you can animate, change the opacity, and remove parts of your character. You can also change the layering, and here are some examples. Let's talk about poses. Currently, we don't have many of the poses from Gotcha Clubs, so we will have to make our own. By the way, you can change the hands here. You can also change the pose layering, which is very helpful. There's not much I can say to help you with this, honestly. The best way to learn is to keep practicing by yourself. There are plenty of videos showing you how to make custom poses. Watching those or even watching tweening tutorials should be very helpful. You can also use references such as Gotcha Club poses, or if you'd like, I can make a few poses if you recommend them to me. Now I'll show you how to import and export a pose. It's very simple. It's literally just like exporting an OC from Gotcha Club. You can use your own pose code or someone else's as long as they give you permission. The color feature in Gotcha Life 2 is pretty much the same as previous Gotcha games. The main difference is that we can now access any color we want and even add shading to our characters. If you don't want your characters to have shading, just lower the opacity like this. Now you might be thinking, the color slider is too confusing, I miss the old Gotcha color palette. No worries, you can always switch back. Now I do need to warn you, there are no color restrictions in Gotcha Life 2. It's up to you to use the game appropriately and report anyone you see doing otherwise. The adjustment feature may seem a bit overwhelming to look at, but it's actually quite simple. If you can't figure out the free move, you can just use the arrows. You can flip an item as well, so there's no need to try adjusting it weirdly. You can also switch items around to different slots, which is very useful because the colors and adjustments, in most cases, there are some exceptions, will stay the same. I don't think I need to explain much, just try your best and keep practicing until you find a style that suits you. If you want to import or export a character, all you have to do is go to the profile, the very last tab, and either copy your OC code or import a different one. You can now have up to 16 characters in the studio. If you want to access the other 8, just click Studio Slots. You can also switch characters from the backup slots right in the studio. You can select a pose or return to the homepage to edit one. 
and if you want to return to the original pose, just click default pose. Don't want to go back and edit the face and risk getting an ad? Luckily, you can edit the eyes and mouth right in the studio. There are limited options though, so it won't be too much help. By the way, you can also reset to the original face by clicking default eye or mouth. You can also select emotes and adjust them. Not only that, but the chat box can be adjusted as well. We've all experienced accidentally moving a character and desperately trying to find the exact spot it was in previously, but luckily, we can now lock our characters so they don't move unless you unlock them again. You can now select a background and add gradients to improve your video making. New features such as props will be added soon, so don't worry! The Gotcha system in Gotcha Life 2 is a little different than Gotcha Club. Here, instead of getting units for a game mode, you can pull for new characters, including Gotcha Tubers. You still use diamonds to summon, and these can be obtained from watching ads. And whenever you get a random ad from switching from the studio or something, you're given diamonds as well. Once you get a character, you can add them to a slot by going to your collection. This is the part where I ramble on about anything I forgot to add before. First of all, you can change the background music by clicking background. There's supposed to be an option to switch between portrait and landscape mode, but it's not showing up for me anymore, so I don't know. <sighs> I think that's everything. I'm losing my voice and my brain cells making this. Just kidding! I didn't have any brain cells left to lose in the first place. Please let me know if I missed anything important. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. I've never made a tutorial before, and I don't know why I signed myself up to do one. It's not like anyone's holding me at gunpoint and forcing me to make this video. <laughs>